All right, what is up, guys? Uh, this is Sith Warrior Twenty Six, and I'm here with my friend, the Blue Empire. Uh, we will be going over a tutorial on how to set up Fightcade for Sonic Adventure Two. So once you have Fightcade installed, you want to uh, search for the game and type in Sonic Adventure Two, and then it will show up on your search results and then you just click on it. Since I already have it uh, listed, uh, it will be on my left side right here. And so as you can see, I'm here already. And DBSK is uh, blue. So right now we're going to go over the settings. So first off, we need to click on test game. And then blue, I think you could take it from here. Yes, so you go into test game, you go into the settings, um, and then afterwards you will locate net play first on the left side of the settings. And then afterwards there will be a tab for GGPO. You click it and then there'll be some next available options. Um, you scroll down to left thumbstick simulation dreamcast and you select it to full for that so that means that with this game when you play it the left thumbstick actually um, is operational when you actually have selected the full if you don't select this to full then you will be using the d-pad and since this game uses the analog stick to move uh, 360 degrees or directions that's why you need to select it for for that um, the next thing that you will need to do you will need to head over to the audio settings and then you will need to check the audio frame sync um, there has been a new update for fight Cade in regard to flight cost that a lot of this stuff has been um, checked but just in case if it hasn't been checked um, do so because if this is not checked audio frame sync then basically the FPS will actually be a bit more faster than it originally is for the game and then lastly um, you would need to just double check if your controls are good so you need to go into the controls and then there will be all your devices that are actually connected usually you'll be looking at the last device which will be your controller whether it be a ps4 360 or whatever controller and then you scroll to the right and it should say map and once you click on map that's when you will see the um, control layout so it would already be dreamcast controls on the top right and also it should have the default layering as it is if you do want to change your buttons around then do so and also do check out a Sonic Adventure 2 manual control guide online um, to see if the buttons are mapped out correctly as you want it to be as if it was on the Dreamcast um, once that's all selected you just click done and um, done again and then you can actually test out to see if it's actually fully working first Alright, so I decided to talk over this since my volume was too low, so yeah, I hit start game and right now I'm testing out the game, so it's opening up. Uh, this is pretty much the Dreamcast version of the game, so when the game opens, you just hit the VMU icon and load up the save file that is already there once you open up Ficade. And you just hit OK. And right now I'm going to test out uh, the single player. And as you can see, uh, every stage is unlocked uh, with all A ranks. And one thing to keep in mind, you know, when playing uh, this version of Sonic Adventure 2 on PC, is that the left analog stick will tilt. And it's not to say that it's your controller that's the issue, uh, but more so that uh, back when Dreamcast games were made, uh, the Dreamcast was known for uh, this issue where the left analog stick will tilt. Uh, does it affect your gameplay? Not as much, but uh, it's just something to keep in mind. But the game is playable. So what I'm doing here right now is I'm challenging uh, my friend Blue. So what I do is uh, I just right click on his name and I challenge him. 
uh, we were just talking about uh, how you need to be online for it to work if you put yourself as away on your status it won't work that's what uh, Tarot said here and so yeah I challenged Blue uh, who is uh, DBS Cade and then uh, we're pretty much just connecting at this point so here uh, we just raised this number from 3 to 4 and the reason being is so that there isn't any delay uh, so it will depend on the connection between your opponent sometimes you may have one and in that case you just raise it up to two so whatever number you get you just raise it up uh, one number all right so right now um, I'm playing on the left side and blue is playing on the right side so we're just testing out a race stage again uh, apologies for no sound on this video I'm pretty much just talking over this uh, but uh, yeah, so this is Green Forest and there is no delay when we're playing, like it's playing pretty smooth. Uh, and that's that he is in Europe and I am here in, you know, the States. But yeah, so this is pretty much how you connect to your opponent on Fight if you do have any questions, uh, just please let me know. You could DM me on Discord or let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Take care guys.